Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome back to another video here with me, Rich Aesthetic. And today we're gonna to talk about the iCloud Photo Shared Library. Surprisingly, Apple isn't really adding a whole lot of advertising to the operating system. You know how usually when you open an app, you know, you get the, a new app from Apple after there's an update, um, there's like a splash screen, right? It tells you everything that's new. In this case, when you open up the Photos app, it only briefly mentions the shared library. Oh no, the light. It only briefly mentions the shared library and there's no way to set it up from the Photos app itself. Instead, you actually have to go to the Settings app, as you can see here, and then set it up. Now, one of the cool things is, um, I actually thought this was gonna be restricted to creating a shared library with select individuals from your iCloud family plan, but that's not the case at all. You can share your library with up to five other people, regardless who they are, as long as they, of course, have an Apple ID, as iCloud requires you to have an Apple ID. So in my case, I'm doing it with my girlfriend and I. Now we are in the same iCloud family plan, but we wouldn't have to be. Um, but I, that's it, it's just gonna be her and I. The idea is though, if you have a family and have children, you can actually share this with you know your wife and yourself or your husband and yourself or whatever, and then add your children to it. Now, the cool thing is in the Photos app, there are three view options. You can have both libraries or just your personal one or your shared one. Now, I tend to have both because what I've been used to is if my girlfriend and I go out, we make sure we share the photos we took with each other and then they're in my library. So I actually want them all there. But now we can eliminate the whole thing of having to airdrop each other the photos we took and making sure not to have any duplicates or anything like that. Now we can just have, when we're near each other, because there's the Bluetooth connection between our devices, knowing that, oh yeah, they're near each other, any photos we take when we're out will actually already be in the shared library. And you'll even get suggestions from Siri when they find some photos that you might want to add, which is interesting because I've been getting some suggestions where for whatever reason, my face is, the face is recognized and it'll be my face, but it won't have my name automatically there, which, you know, sometimes it'll not be completely sure as to who it is. So I've added my name, but it wasn't the suggestions nonetheless, thinking that it's some a photo that I wanted to share with Irene. So that seems super accurate. There are actually a lot of control features, such as not having to automatically share photos. You can just have it be manual. Um, and there's also a button that you can choose to have visible in the camera app, where if you tap on the shared icon, then of course it will automatically share that photo to your shared library, regardless of you, your location being near each other or not. And you can then tap it off if you're taking a photo of a sign or something that really only you need in that moment, and then later you can delete it. Um, also, if you are near each other and you take a screenshot or take a screen recording, those will not be automatically shared with each other. It's strictly just you know photos and videos of your surroundings that would be automatically shared. Now, when you're setting up the library, one of the first things you do, like I showed you earlier, you're gonna pick the other participants that you want to have in your library. And then after you selected the participant, you would choose whether you just want all your photos to be shared, or if you want to manually select photos, which I would not recommend unless you have a new fresh library, or you can have it be from a specific date range. And of course, you know, recognize individuals and things like that, which is super handy. So you could just share every single photo you want that has your face and your other um, iCloud shared library participant faces in it or you can just have everything from a certain date, which was great for my girlfriend and I, where I would have it be both of us and also from the date that we started dating. So those are the only photos that were shared. Super convenient. And you can have all those filters applied. So yeah, it was super simple setting it up. Took me all of, it was a three minute screen recording, but it was only that long so I could capture enough frames for the video. So yeah, overall, this was the feature that I was most excited for with iOS 16. So I set it up as soon as it came to iOS 16.1. Very happy that that is here now. And then of course, when my girlfriend updated, I made sure she was there and ready to participate in that library. Um, so yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you yourself have this set up. And also, did you notice anything different about this video? I tried a different way of shooting, and also we just moved. So I know the background is probably looking super bland, and I'm sorry about that, not a whole lot I can do. And also if the audio wasn't that great, 
terribly sorry for that as well because I don't have anything covering the walls yet, but I really wanted to get a video out. We're at over 230 subscribers, which is just crazy to me. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to keep this train rolling and I have so many more videos that I want to make and I just haven't been able to get to them just because of, well, life. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Rich Aesthetic out.